Our honoree this evening, uh, I'm just a couple of little remarks I've known about for a long time. In fact, I think he even let me park my airplane in his hangar one time. He was hurting for money, I think, or something. Like that. I don't remember. I don't think he charged me anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are going to do something a little different because I'm just going to go and introduce you to, once again, the gentleman who is the ramrod, has been the ramrod of this whole thing for decades. He's the one that, he's got the camera. I finally figured out, you know, it's not that he likes to go and watch old jazz videos. That's his retirement program. <laughs> There's some bad notes in there that he's going to be happy to sell to the piano, piano players at a later date. I just figured that out. Okay? It's a small anyway, the, the guy that has kept this thing together forever, for 38 years, how about a nice warm round of applause for Dr. Craig Huffington. Do this in the future, 
that top award is going to be known as the Bob Harway Excellence Award. Oh. After this next pianist plays, we're going to have an intermission over there and uh, come and uh, join us over there for some cookies. Um, some of those cookies are also uh, given by the Hardway family. Thank you for that. And to uh, introduce this next pianist, um, I want to invite up Robert Seda, who is, happens to be a grandson of Bob Hardway. Please welcome Robert Sayer. Um, it's so great to see everyone here in attendance. Um, I remember when we were doing these showcases at uh, the Unity Church. It was about half the turnout of this, and um, it's just it's so great to be here and for all of you to join us. Um, so I'm here to recognize the lifelong achievement of Bob Harway. I first want to thank uh, both my grandparents, Bob and Olga, for instilling a sense of appreciation for the arts over all of us for the last, the last 90 years. Um, we've all congregated here through music, a cognitive filter that we make associations between moments and people that together form a musical journey. And to me, and so many of us, the musical journey of Bob Harway exemplifies how diamonds are formed under pressure. Mm -hmm. As a child, the story went that, you know, my grandpa Bob was, you know, his friends were outside playing. Bob would stay inside to practice his concertos to become a professional pianist. He continued to play at UCLA through multiple moves from LA to Bakersfield to Paso Robles and then to here in San Luis Obispo. And this lifelong dedication to mastery over the piano has brought so many of us together to socialize and share memories from playing at Diambinos in Paso to the Slow Symphony in Avila, the Performing Arts Center, and all the way to Branch Street Deli at Royal Grande. <laughs> but in all honesty, the lives that Bob has touched and all the people he's helped through his music cannot be expressed by words. It is instead exemplified by all the faces and beautiful souls here in attendance that wouldn't be anywhere else in the world but here to celebrate the longest standing participant in the Slow Jazz Federation's Piano Showcase, which has always been a top jazz event of the year in Slow County. Bob, you are a true inspiration to all of us. You've always been the shining diamond in the rough, the North Star guiding us to the light that is yourself. <laughs> the Harway Walker and Say families would like to thank all the performers and everyone in attendance that have joined in the celebratory occasion. Please join me in a round of applause to show our love to Bob Harway. Both parts. Uh, 
when I was doing the research, the only singer that I could find uh, that did both parts, and they're equally long, which is really unusual for a popular song, and uh, Frank Sinatra did this. Take a deep breath.
Jesus. So, uh, there's cookies and things like that.